Welcome back to The Cutting Board. Today, I'm asking Marlene to help me make a carob sauce. So what ingredients do we have here? Okay, obviously we're gonna have carob, right? Which is our substitute for chocolate. And I also am using, because um, carob is just a very sweet bean, but chocolate has a little bit of bitterness to it, so I'm gonna use a coffee substitute for that. This is a, basically a roasted grain coffee, so it has that little touch of uh, bitterness that we're gonna add to it. And we have some cashews. One thing I want to remind our viewers is that whenever you use cashews, wash them. Wash them in hot water, kind of mix them up, and then they're ready to What's use. What's the reason for that? Um, just because they're harvested in a lot of countries where the standards of cleanliness, hygiene are not quite, you so know, you want to make sure that they're you washed. You want to make sure it's, yeah. yeah. And then we have um, carob chips, which really brings out the, the carob flavor. We have dates as a sweetener. And oh, I'm using vegan um, malt sweetened carob chips, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we're using dates, which is an, this is probably one of the best sweeteners that there is because it's a whole food sweetener. And then we have another one of nature's excellent sweeteners and that is honey. It's honey. Okay, and we have some hot water boiling over here so that it makes a really creamy sauce. Okay, okay, so it's about proportions as well. Exactly, exactly. We want to have a nice, rich, creamy sauce. So the first thing we're going to do is put all these ingredients in the blender over here. David, right. if you can do that for me. Okay, so what am I starting with? Um, does it matter? Can, it doesn't matter. All right, Take start with pick. the cashews. Yeah. They've been washed. Yeah. We've got the dates. I'm gonna get those in there. And we want to use hot water because the dates will respond to the hot water and become softened and you'll get a creamier sauce. So I've just so um, if I put this brought here. my hot water to a boil. Okay. And some honey. Yep. Nice clover honey. I like to use a mild honey when I'm making a sauce like this. There are different honeys from different floral sources that will be useful for different foods. Like I might use a mint flower honey if I want to make some carob mint balls, you okay. know. But clover is kind of more bland, sweet. And as you've seen in other episodes, uh, sprayed this with some cooking spray just to make sure that we get all that honey out yes. from there. And I'm a going little bit of vanilla. A little bit of vanilla. And I already added the carob, uh, the coffee substitute to the carob that you, so that's done. So that part's done. Now we're going to add um, the hot water, okay? okay? And I'm going to add part of it. I think we need it all, okay? All right. That's about half a cup of hot water. And we're going to blend it until it's creamy. So if you have a Vitamix, probably a minute is going to be good. Another blender, you might have to work it with a spatula. All right, so we're starting it off here. Okay, you wanna go all the way on high. Make sure there are no pieces left. We're gonna smooth sauce. All right, so our sauce is done. Yes. What am I gonna use this sauce on? Well, anything that you would use a chocolate sauce on or somebody might put it on you know, on ice cream, we would make vegan ice cream and put it on there. You could also use it on cakes. On cakes. Um, let's breakfast see, banana let's see what split. It's uh, breakfast banana split. We haven't made that here, but we will someday. We'll make it on the cutting board. All right. And you can even put it on um, d d crepes. On crepes. So crepes. it's got the right color that you're looking for, that chocolate thing. But why aren't we actually using chocolate? Well. Chocolate is marketed as a health food now because of the high antioxidant content, right? But when I look at health food, I'm not only looking at one part like antioxidants, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for it. There are a lot of foods with antioxidants in it that not necessarily every component of that food is healthy and chocolate is one of those. Chocolate and marijuana are two foods that contain cannabinoids, very addictive. Have you ever met somebody that's a chocolate addict? Sure, of course. Yes, okay, now you know why. I don't like putting opiates in my body. And so, just like for the past 100 years probably, health food people have always used carob, carob instead carob is of that chocolate. Replacement. I stick with that. It is really sweet. You can use it in all those recipes that we were talking about. Come back to the cutting board and we'll actually go through some of those recipes to know how to use this sauce.